Hi, welcome to Render Stacks, another production demo. In this demo, we will see how you can set up multiple lighting for same scene as each passive. This was originally a really tutorial. You're supposed to set up three different lighting setup, but you don't have to have three files for each lighting setup. You can easily have three different lighting setup as three passes in one scene file and you can switch between them and renders so i already organized the light object i have hdri night and sun layer here you can see i already made the three different passes hdri sun and light and i already added light on p modifier if you click the first drop down there's a light and light layer if you select the light you will control on and off per individual light object. If you choose light layer, you can control all the light objects in the same layer as like a group. So this is a new feature that added in RenderStacks 1.1. So if you choose the light layer, when you add, you are adding layers, not object. So it will show you only the layer that has a light object. So you picked up three layers, HDRI, night, sun. So this is HDRI. So HDRI is on. So sun. Only sun is on. And night. Only night is on. And let's collapse HDRI. Sun. Night light. So if you open layer and I'm showing light on in the scene explorer HDRI sun night so you can see all the light object in the same layer is turning on and off this scene file also use a object as a light source for the night light so I already put that in the light object layer so this object is the object that will used as a, a mesh light so this object if you open material editor currently have an aluminum material we will use this self self illuminated material for the night light setup so i have material p modifier and same as a light on if you click the first drop down you can choose between node and layer so if you choose layer same thing you can control per layer so you can add light object layer because there's only one object it picked up aluminum material automatically and then in night here I open the material editor again activate the self native material and click material button and get from classic material editors so now this object have self limited material. You can see the white triangle. That's it. So we have three different setup for each passes. So let's select them all and let's preview. So this is the first HDRI setup. This is the sunlight and this is the night light. So let's skip to the render finishes. Okay, so this is HDRI, this is the night, and this is the sun. So you have a three different lighting setup in one scene file. That's it. It's really easy to have a different lighting setup. You can have as many as lighting variation you want in one scene file. You don't need to worry about matching material or model between scene file. You can do all in one file. I will show you a, a few more features that added in Renders Text 1.1. We have a renamer. You can rename pass, object, even layers. You can name all the layers and then you can do search and replace and you can do even regular expression 
search and replace. You can also re use to rename files. And we added the toggle note panel feature because some people doesn't want to have a big UI. So this will allow you to have more compact UI. And let's go back to the original three panel setup. And here you have a tribute display with setting. What it does is it's like a divider between tribute and uh, parameter editor view. So if you slide more to the right, your tribute will get bigger. So if I make it big, as you see, your tribute has bigger portion. And if you reduce it, then your tribute getting smaller portion. In the layer set editor, the workflow has been adjusted. So let's see if we make uh, some layer set. So that's how you make a layer set. Just type the name and press enter. Exactly the same as the selection set. And here the button is gray. That means the temp layer set is these three layers. If I add a new layer, that means your temp layer has been changed, but you have not saved that change into temp layer set. So you did turn to orange to warn you. To update temp layer set, just click temp button and then you turn to green. And then now this four layer is your temp is in your temp layer set. And we have simple collect map that you it, you can it collects all the assets in the scene and save copy to one folder. And we have a full we added full preview button here, so you can actually preview your final production render setup before you submit to the farm. We added new token called max file. So here is a user token and here is a max file token. This is the list of new added feature and improved feature and fixed feature of render stacks and RSPRB render. On the website, if you click each link, you will see what has been changed more in detail. Please check new render stacks 1.1 and thank you.